and more brain imaging studies accumulate, the field is gathering a tremendous amount of data. This sets the stage for papers such as Mackey. Mackey combined many of the studies conducted around the world in many thousands of people on the relationship between brain structure and substance use disorders. And they find that there are a broad set of areas really throughout the brain that relate to problems with substance use. Now the magnitude of these associations are not particularly large in terms of the differences between patients with substance use disorders and healthy individuals. However, the number of brain regions that are implicated is quite diverse. And this suggests that there may be utility in continuing to try to understand how it is that particular measures of brain structure and function relate to problems with substance use disorders.